How effective is your marketing team at maximizing the impact of the content that they create? Keep in mind the purpose of your marketing is to attract the right clients with the right projects in the right locations. And as an executive or the leader of your construction company, you've got to make sure your marketing is dialed in. But it's not something that's probably at the top of your mind most of the time. In this video, I'm going to give you a particular tip that you can share with your marketing department that can help you to maximize the impact of just one piece of content. And I'm going to show you how to do that with a piece of content that I recently developed for myself. So I was having lunch with one of my clients and we were talking about some of the challenges that he's facing. And like many of you, probably all of you, <laughs> one of those challenges is handling the COVID situation. And we were talking about the morale issues that some of his leaders were facing and the fact that they were bringing with them into work um, a an attitude that wasn't always the best simply because they had to deal with all the regulations, they got family issues to deal with, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so what I did is after that discussion, I was in my car and I just picked up my cell phone and I shot a video. And it took me about three or four minutes to shoot the video. I think I did it in two takes, something like that. And then after that, I took that video and I uploaded it to a site that I work with all the time. And so I'm gonna show you that. The site is called Splashio. They're a great company. Their customer service is really great. And what I did is I got the video captioned. And you can see here on YouTube, I uploaded it to YouTube and got the video captioned. I called it how to maintain your morale in crazy times. So I like using video because it's a very simple way for me to get a piece of content out there. And I took the content or the idea for the content from a specific conversation with one of my clients. And that's an important insight for you to um, keep in mind when you're developing marketing. There is, um, there is content for marketing all in all situations that your people come across and that you come across. So for instance, let's say you're dealing with a project issue and that project issue is pretty intense. It might be threatening the schedule or the profitability or the relationship with your client and your company overcomes that um, project issue. You need to turn that into a piece of marketing content because it's those types of things which will attract the people that you're looking to sell to. Okay, so keep that in mind, it's very important. Now, so I took the video, I got it splashioed, and um, then what I did is I posted the video on LinkedIn. Now, I use LinkedIn for most of my marketing. It's a very boring website. Um, you may even be watching this on LinkedIn, and we all know that LinkedIn is boring, but it's effective. It's effective because you can connect with people there. It's more or less strictly business. We don't have to deal with the drama of websites like Twitter or Facebook or something like that. And so I find it very effective for business. Strictly business, let's get down to business, let's connect, let's communicate, all that kind of good stuff. So I posted this on LinkedIn and it got 609 views. Now, going back to working with Splashio, one of the great things that they do is they transcribe my video when they caption it, okay? And so that's really cool to me that they transcribe the video because what I then do is I take the transcription of the video and I turn it into a post on LinkedIn. And you can see this post right here. And so this got a number of views and it was, it was a, uh, a popular post for me. It had a number of comments and I replied to the comments and all that kind of good stuff. People shared the post as well and so I was able to thank them for sharing it. But then I not only took the transcript and turned it into a post on LinkedIn, I also turned it into a newsletter on LinkedIn, a newsletter post. And so you can use the newsletter post on LinkedIn to help to increase your social media impact. And again, this is just from one piece of content. I shot the video, I got it captioned, I got it transcribed, I turned the transcription into 
a, um, a post and you might be thinking, Eric, this sounds like a lot of work. Frankly, it's not. And if you have someone dedicated to marketing um, on LinkedIn, if you're doing one of these posts a week, that is totally sufficient. So someone can shoot a three to four minute video, turn that into a short post, turn it into a newsletter. I then turned it into a blog post as well. So it's on my blog. I also sent it to my, you see here, my email marketing CRM. I sent it to my email list and I in fact turned it into a Twitter thread as well. In addition to posting it on YouTube. Okay, so one piece of content spread in multiple ways across multiple channels. Twitter, my email list, LinkedIn, and YouTube. All you have to be able to do is to take that one piece of content and repurpose it. And this is the key. Have a system for repurposing. For me, it's pretty easy, right? Because once I've got it captioned and I've got the transcripts, then I'm able to put it into um, a word processor, quickly turn it into a post, a blog post. You're not looking for perfection with your marketing. It's more, um, it's more effective to be, um, to be sincere and genuine and, and take on the issues that your target market is facing. And that's why it's so important that you tap into the wins and the challenges that your project managers and superintendents and foremen are actually going through on a regular basis on the job site, building projects, and then turn that into content that is targeted to the people that you're looking to sell work to. This doesn't have to be rocket science. It just has to be genuine. It just has to be pointed to your target and it does have to be consistent, okay? So let's just summarize what we're doing here. You can take one piece of content and you can turn it into multiple pieces of content across a variety of different social media platforms. And at the end of each content piece, what I would encourage you to do is to include some sort of call to action. Right. And those calls to action don't have to be, you know, click here to send us one of your projects. It's not something like that. Most of your social media, particularly as a construction company, is not going to be hard sell like that. What it's going to be is, hey, if you have any issues, contact us. Or uh, if you'd like to, to read more, go to our website, um, perhaps subscribe to a newsletter, something like that. Some kind of call to action at the end of every marketing piece is very important. So. To summarize what we've been talking about, make sure that you draw from real life for the content that you're developing for your marketing efforts. Um, have the people who are creating your marketing efforts keep it simple. It can be a video, it can be a blog post, but turn a piece of content into multiple pieces of content. And again, like I said, um, you can use folks like Splashio if you shoot videos. Splashio, again, is excellent. I'm not getting paid to say this, by the way, but I just love their customer service. Shout out to Gideon, the CEO of Splashio. He is uh, super great as far as his customer service is concerned. And so I hope you found this helpful. Take this information, use it practically and effectively in your organization. If you have any questions about marketing or sales strategy, reach out to me because I help my clients with that specifically. My name is Eric Anderton. Appreciate you watching.